and I worked really good together the whole race. We got to the end, and we started to tandem, and I knew when I come off four, it was going to be hard to block him, and I was trying to block him high, block him high, but I didn't want him to get under me. I felt like I had a better chance to keep pushing him high, but he, he made a great move. But can't thank Kevin and Delaney enough giving me a great truck tonight. One main financial. Uh, start off the good season with a, with a second place finish, led some laps, but um, wish we in victory lane, but we got another chance tomorrow. Clay Rogers, a top five finish for you here. It's got to be a career night for you. It absolutely is, man. I mean, that, what, what a last lap that was. And, I, you know, first of all, I got to thank Kyle for, uh, for getting behind me there. And, and they said before the restart that, that he was going to push me. And he pushed me a few years ago at Talladega, and, and we almost had the same result. But, uh, man, that, I just wish we'd had somewhere to go with that run sooner. And we got all the way up there, and then unfortunately we got tangled up from some guys getting together behind us, and the ricochet just kind of came up forward. But, uh, you know, these Dollar General guys at Kyle Busch Motorsports did a great job putting this thing back together. And, uh, the triad engine department built a great engine for me. It was a steam engine there for a while. All it had was left in it was steam. So I uh, can't thank Dollar General and NOS Energy Drink, Flexco, uh, NASCAR.com. Congratulations to them. They won the race, and uh, they won the race with me at the Bristol Sweep last year. They were on board with us tonight. So all in all, it was a fun race. And then there at the end, if you if you don't know what Daytona means to people, you'll this Ricky Benton team and Clayton Rogers and those guys were pretty pumped up about it. And Pushing them up through there to get a third-place finish was pretty neat, and uh, felt good to see them all excited afterwards. If you're going to pick a place for your best career finish, Daytona's a pretty good place to do that. Congratulations on a great run. Thank you. I think it was our worst finish last year and our best this year, so um, I'm pretty darn excited. You know, of course, i got to thank Lily'sCosmetics.com and, and Rimrock Designs, and, uh, you know, we're launching an initiative for the military this week and honoring Bruce and my grandpa. Just so it's a very special day, very high emotion day. I'm like, would I have to do so well on the only day I'm not wearing my makeup from Lily'sCosmetics.com? But uh, I, I'm grateful. You know, thank God, thank my team and, and my spotter. A great day for her and the highest finishing female ever in the truck series with this finish tonight. There for a second, I didn't think we were making it to the end. We got involved in that big wreck. You know, I don't know how we made it through the way we did. The right front barely made it to the end of the race. But, um, you know, um, these guys just did a great job tonight. And, um, you know, I wanted to jump up there and, you know, go with the guys on the top. But, you know, everybody in the garage today just kept telling me stay on the bottom, stay on the yellow line and, you know, run laps, make it to the end. And, you know, that's... That, that was our goal, you know. We definitely, definitely didn't, you know, didn't come in here expecting to finish here, but you know, um, we did because we we ran a clean race and you know kept our heads up and um, didn't get down on anything that happened. So.